Okay. Okay. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Try to set the world on fire. I can't tell if I'm a fan of this vertical live streaming format that they offer you, but I thought I'd try it out again. Hey, James. I don't know if I'm a fan of this vertical live stream format, but I thought I'd try it out again because YouTube is pushing it. So I thought, why not? I'm breaking the fourth wall here because you can see my phone, so there's a nice fun de delay. Let me move it out of the way so you guys can't see that. <laughs> Alright, Kevin's here. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Wigwag. I, uh, I'm printing more dumpsters because I do that. Basically, this printer is, whenever I can, it's running because <laughs> I got to I gotta keep it going. So I'm just starting another print of dumpsters. And then I'm going to do some painting. Because why not? It's Sunday night. Let's do some stuff. Hey, John. What's going on? So these are my dumpsters. I've, I've tweaked the file. I don't know how well you can. Can you guys see? I've tweaked the file now so I can print a four pack of each scale in one print. And there's minimal supports, so there's minimal cleanup. And it just maximizes um, efficiency, which is great because then uh, I'll have to jack up the price. <laughs> let's just let's just be real. James is watching two lives. Who else is live? I didn't even think to check who would be who would be live right now. I almost said who would be alive. Everyone's alive, I hope. Who else is live, James? Sean's here. Hey, Sean. Oh, Scott Rails is live. Oh, no one's going to watch me. <laughs> Scott Rails. This guy's taking the, the model railroading uh, world by storm. Scott Rails is an anomaly. Uh... Yeah, so this, I felt, was a fitting jar, because this is Atlas. I like Atlas. Not so much their turnouts, but I like their track, and I like their rolling stock. So, let's use Atlas-branded uh, mason jars. That's not true. I just, it's leftover from pasta sauce. <laughs> 
So these are ones I washed earlier. This is the clean wash. Clean wash. Put those guys in there. So this weekend I've printed, how many is it now? One, two, three, four, five, six. This will be my seventh print this weekend. Just running it here and there. Um, if I was home all weekend, I would have been able to run it more. But uh, basically just, I'd come home, or I, I, I'd set a print, leave to go do stuff and come back. Uh, it would be done. And I'd set another print, carry on with life, and then whenever I had a second, come out and start another one. Uh, if I was home all weekend, I'd be like ready to go to start the next print as soon as one finished. But that wasn't really the case. But, uh, yeah. Not a bad little weekend, though. That'll catch me up with the orders that I have. And then the rest of the printing I do this week will be inventory. You guys are you guys are loving the dumpsters. I appreciate that. I had a failed print the other day. Oh wait, no. Oh no, this one's good. So I have eight. I have eight prints. These ones didn't cure yet, did they? Oh no, the one of the end scale ones is bad. I'll investigate that one later. So what are you guys working on tonight? What are you guys doing? Uh, I know Chris was live last night. He, uh... He changed his Sunday brunch kit build to um, Saturday nights because of his new schedule. Um, so it's probably going to take people a couple of weeks to make that routine. But uh, it was pretty cool to see him sticking through it, even though his schedule is changing, which is really good. Uh, not the schedule change, that sucks. But uh, the fact that he's resilient... Is pretty awesome. Sean says that would be a good jar for pickled eggs. Yeah, yeah, if you like that sort of thing, then by all means, have at her. Um, I need to sacrifice more black t shirts. I need rags. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. James posted an update video on your layout. I'm curious to see how that's coming along. You've been really working hard at that. Chief Broken Brian is here. Hello, Broken Brian. This is what you do if you don't have the fancy uh, resin print and wash and cure station. A wash and cure station is an agitator uh, with alcohol in it, and then it's also a UV light. Well, guess what? I can agitate it myself, and I got a $30 UV light, so there you go. <laughs> the end. I'm literally, at this point, I'm wiping down the counter just to make myself look busy like a bartender. Uh, let's take these out. Problem is, I didn't think this part through. I can't get my hand in here. So we need some form of apparatus. I 
I know. Hang on. Talk amongst yourselves. I meant to I meant to use these for my washing. I forgot about them. Instead of these cups, because this one doesn't seal very well and it's kind of gunky, and I also like to use it as a mixing cup. And this one clearly doesn't uh, work because I can't get my hand in it. So I got these. They seal. They're nice. They're meant for um, apparently they're meant for trail mix, but. Uh, I'm going to use them. I don't need the Dollarama sticker on it. Again, Wash and Cure Station. $300. Couple of buckets from the dollar store and a UV light. $36. Done. <laughs> so this will be my clean wash. And get them. Whoop, I don't want them to I mean I guess they can because I have I'll use my gloves <laughs> so yeah I have this I'll use that for storage of some sort and I have this one for my dirty wash which is probably on its last legs who we got in the chats now we got Grab the, stri the spaghetti strainer. Yeah, no, I've thought about getting one. Uh, it's just, it's on my shopping list, actually. One, obviously, that's specific for this. Okay, so you're just broken, Brian, or are you just Brian, or are you, uh, you want me to call you late for dinner? You just go by Brian? I can just call you Brian, that's fine. Yeah, it's a pretty cool process, to be honest. Um, it's a lot to learn. Um, I didn't really think that there was going to be so much to learn, but there is, and that's fun, because I like to learn. Learning is close to godliness. Is that how that goes? I don't have any paper towel out here to dry this on. Oh, but I have this. This episode is brought to you by the dollar store. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at that. This episode is brought to you by the dollar store. So I, I thought I was going to just be out here doing some stuff, so I might as well just go live anyway. No big deal. If people want to jump in and say hello, they can. Um, and I know that typically I go live horizontally, but I thought I would try the vertical thing again. Like I said, because I'm, if I'm repeating myself, it's because you've been here since the beginning. But if you're just joining me, um, I thought I would try the vertical method again because YouTube has been really pushing it and I thought you never know you might find we might come across some new some new people who've never seen our little community and they might enjoy what they see and subscribe or hang out and see that there's multiple little channels that are doing railroading content and stuff and that's fun um yeah Kevin how was the show this weekend I haven't even gotten a chance to talk to you yet. How was it? I was bummed I missed it. There was a show in Lindsay, Ontario this weekend. I was invited to go, but I couldn't make it.
need to get some music going out here or something. How do you guys feel about music? What do you guys listen to? What kind of music do you guys like? So I'm going to put on a stream and just work out here quietly and have a one-sided conversation with myself. Might as well put on some music. Kevin says the show was quite busy on Saturday and today not so much. That's typically how it goes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Did you buy anything? Did you uh, see anything I, I would have wished I had? Not many vendors. Ooh. That's too bad. That's like the only reason I go to the shows anymore. I mean, the layouts are great. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of times if you go to the same show, you see a lot of the same layouts. Um, which is cool. I mean, it's, it's nice to see the inspiration and all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, I want to buy stuff. <laughs> that's why i'm here that's why i'm here you guys got deals let's make it happen okay so this is my clean clean wash this one i'm gonna get a couple more uses out of it i think so let me just dump it in here this is my dirty wash Oh, I didn't realize I had so much in there. Let some of that evaporate out. Yeah! This stuff does evaporate. I left the lid off of um, this bucket a little while ago. And it was full and it just... And now it's all just gunky resin goop. So I got to, uh, you know, deal with that. Didn't buy anything at the show, but there was a guy selling everything from his basement layout. Wow. That's crazy. Did you go ch Like, was he there as a vendor, or was he just advertising that he was selling stuff and then you went to check him out or something? What's up, skinny dog? You good boy? I need my... Yeah. There it is. Oh. I forgot it was still plugged in. I need my air blower. It wasn't so tangled. There we go. Oh, you went to his house. That's awesome. So it's all modern stuff then? I assume. Otherwise you wouldn't have bought stuff. We'll probably talk about this another time, but I'm just curious. If you guys are even slightly curious about what I'm doing, um, when the prints come off of the printer, they are covered in like a layer of liquid resin because they've been dipped inside this vat, right? 
and so you kind of have to clean them off otherwise when you cure them because they're not fully fully cured when they come off the machine they're only like partly cleared or cured rather so that they can uh so that they become their shape right so before you cure it you have to wash off all the excess resin otherwise it will cure in place and it'll just be a gross mess um, so you have to go through alcohol to wash it off um, so typically like you can use a washing station like what I was describing to you it's just like a chamber it's like basically a big version of this pot or this container that um, has an agitator in it and it just spins and uh, cleans it off that way but what a lot of guys do if they don't have that machine which is me and I probably I don't know that I ever will really because it's it's overpriced for what it is really um, I just have a first bath where I put them in spin it around shake it up that kind of a thing stir it a little bit or whatever take the parts out and then I put them in clean resin or sorry clean alcohol um, cause this gets the worst of it off and then this one doesn't uh, like a secondary clean basically. That way you don't have to like scrub every single one of them or whatever. And it, it preserves your resin or I keep saying resin. It preserves your alcohol. So basically when this one gets, sorry, I'm, I'm pointing off screen. Am I not? No, no, we're good. So when the dirty one gets too dirty, you scrap it. And when the clean one gets a little dirty, it becomes your dirty one and you pour a new batch of clean. If that makes sense. You keep cycling them through. I know some guys, they do three. Um, I think that's a little excessive, but whatever. And so now they're just drying because I don't want them to be curing while they're wet or it'll still, it'll cure kind of sticky. And then I actually have, where is it? I have one that I painted sticky. And I'm not going to send it out, unfortunately. I painted this one sticky. Can you see it? And so right in here, how close can I get to this camera? Right in here, you can see how it's kind of shiny along the bottom there. And that's because it cured sticky. And then I painted over it and it just never, it didn't really do it. You know? So... I'm, I don't know. I might give that one away. <laughs> it's sad because I painted it. So now it's like I'm kind of, I've invested time into it. And because I print them four at a time and I sell them four at a time, now I have three. I don't know. I don't know. Kevin says one, two, says got some great deals. Not much modern, but what was came home. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. So was he just getting out of the hobby or was he retiring or? Cause I know sometimes that's a sad story, you know, like a lot of times it's an estate, but uh, yeah. The underside like this, I'm not too worried if it dries a little sticky because I'm not going to paint under there anyway and you're not really going to touch it or deal with it or anything, but you got to clean it up a little bit, I suppose. Clearing out an estate. That's too bad. That's too bad. I don't like hearing that. But it happens. All right. So let's uh, show you my nice, handy, uh, janky curing station. <laughs> um. 
This is a little on the embarrassing side, but at the same time, it's getting the job done until I can build something else. I have plans. I have big plans. Big, big plans. And I'll share them with you when the time comes. But in the meantime, let me show you... <laughs> let me show you my disaster. You ready? Okay, okay. Please bear with me while I shake this camera around. Sorry. Let me spin it around. This is looking backwards now. You guys don't see this. This is what I see when you see what you see. This is what I see. So, these are... These are the dumpsters that I've already printed and cured. Um, but let me demonstrate to you my curing station, because those other ones are not fully dry yet, so I'm going to give them a minute. But, I got some styrene on the, on the table there. I got some styrene propped up against my camera mount. This is my camera mount, but I'm not using it right now. I've got my UV light kind of perched on it. And then I just take another piece of styrene, put her there, pal. You know, just just put her there, pal. And then you turn on the UV light. <laughs> it creates a little box. And then, and then you leave. You go about your business and you come back 10, 20 minutes later and you're good to go. I typically have a turntable in there, but I didn't have it in there yet. Or I didn't have it in there today. All right, Wigwag, good night. See you later. Have a good one. Uh, someone on YouTube has a vid of converting a microwave into a curing station. I've seen that before, but I've also heard that if you do that wrong, you can kill yourself. And I'm not interested. I have big plans, though, Sean. I have big, enormous, stupendous plans. And I will share them with you soon-ish. I'm very excited about it, to be honest. I, I'm Now that I've been doing all this printing and painting and airbrushing and all this kind of stuff, I am really looking forward to diving in more to, or bleh, diving into all this kind of stuff. This, this curing and washing and painting and printing and all of that sort of things. Okay. So I'm moving this now to be a bit of a makeshift over the over the shoulder shot so that I can do some graffiti. Ah, this tripod though. Hang on. Sorry everyone. Sorry. Sorry. It's not a Canadian live stream unless you say sorry 47 times. Uh, oh, I never realized that this... Oh, that's because I just turned it. No? Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? Nobody knows. Does anyone know? That's water. My desk is a disaster. Did anybody tell you that? Did, uh, no? You're not gonna tell anyone? I don't, don't tell anyone else that you saw all this mess. <laughs> You're gonna await the big reveal. That's good, Sean. Let's await a big reveal. It's gonna be exciting. All right, let's, um, make some space. Okay, if your desk doesn't look like this, then you're not a model railroader. You're not doing anything. You gotta do some work, you know? Do some work, people. Okay, let's just at least try to clean this up a little bit. <laughs> this is what, so I always clean up before Third Rail Thursday. I get everything ready to go. I I I make sure my space is clear and then I work and I never put I never put paint markers back 
I take them out, and as I'm using them, I just leave them on, on my table. Um, and then, I do the same with paintbrushes. I do the same with, 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 like, Q-tips. They just get used, and then they just get left on the table. Um, and then, if I'm working behind me, at the counter where the printer is, and something's in my way, pile it up on the table, because it's right there. So, that's when you end up with a giant mess. And even now, I'm clearing this so I can work here, and I'm piling stuff in the most random places, because I just want to work. <laughs> so it's just moving... I need to put things on trays, so I can just pick up a tray of crap and move it somewhere else. <laughs> Do some work, and then pick that tray up again, and I don't know. I need a bigger garage. That's what I need. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, yeah, okay. Bigger garage. You just got a garage. Be happy with the garage you have. I am. I am. Anyone want a Subaru? That's the joke. I would I would print and sell Subarus and other various cars, but I don't want I don't want car companies coming at me like, "Hey, I never gave you the license to that." I'd have to like I'd have to list it on Etsy as rally car. Generic rally car with spoiler Generic rally car with fighter engine. Get it? Because it's a boxer engine. Ah. Anyone? Bigger garage, bigger mess. Yeah, no, you're right. You're probably right. Okay, so some of these... Yeah, some of these... Uh, this batch that's painted doesn't pass inspection. This one here, the paint's peeling. Um, I did these in a bit of a rush, but also these ones were my old design and the supports were not good on it. So it left a bit of a gross spot on them. Some of them will keep for my layout though. <laughs> That's the thing. My layout's going to get all the rejects. That's okay. Oh, you know what I have to do? I'm gonna do what I did the other night. And I'm going to film content while live. Because I'm trying to optimize my time. That's what I'm gonna do. We got here, we got 12 people here. 12 people want to see me and my shenanigans. That's cool. What's up 12 people? I mean, that's only half of uh, the people that show up when I plan a live stream. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, one thing I have to do tonight is I have to do some windows for my Oceanwide Tower because I'm posting daily and I don't have anything for tomorrow. So, I'm going to do that tonight. You guys can be involved in that, I suppose. I feel like I'm just moving things around aimlessly. Do I have enough space to work yet? Unfortunately, I know you guys won't, with this angle, you won't really be able to see 100% what I'm doing. These are... The 
this one. You guys like my um, mic holder? <laughs> I just stuck it in a bucket. I didn't clip it onto anything. This is how I operate. It's very sophisticated and lovely. Look, a dumpster. These are all, like, don't be alarmed. This is not how I treat my final products. These are all, <laughs> they're all a bad batch. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are these ones. Okay. That's these ones. These ones. That's that one. I'm trying to keep these windows all sorted so that I don't lose track of what I'm doing. Get out of here, sawdust. That's the other thing. Like I don't I don't do woodworking on this on this workbench. This is my graffiti workbench. However, when you don't have counter space because you have a giant pile of crap somewhere and you need to cut something real quick, you find yourself just saying, ah, it'll be all right. <laughs> That's right up there with the duct tape phone holder. No, the duct tape phone holder, man, is a game changer. I do that all the time. I do that at work. Um, if you ever see content of me at work, it's filmed with a duct tape phone holder on a three-step ladder. That's just what I do. A three-step ladder, you can just plop anywhere, and you can put the duct tape on one of three steps, so you get a choice of elevation, and yeah. <laughs> you can tilt, because it's, it's the best. I love it. Look at this. I mean, come on. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. This is a duct tape phone holder, right? There's your duct tape phone holder. It's excellent. Or this is my MagSafe um, battery bank stand that I keep in my pocket at all times just in case I need to charge my, batter my phone or to prop it somewhere or whatever. This is what, how much is a roll of duct tape? Like five, six bucks? This was 60. <laughs> Which are you going to choose? The only benefit is that this charges your phone and it can go in your pocket. And yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. This should have a cap on it. Okay. All right, let me, I wanted to see who I should do some, who should I do some uh, graffiti for? So let me go to my comments. There was a few that I wanted to do, but I, like a fool, I didn't write them down as I found them. So now I have to scroll through some comments. If you guys have suggestions, that's cool too, but I want to do some of the ones that people have commented because they want to be included too. That's just what they do. They like being included and so do I and so do you and so does everybody. So that's what we're gonna do. But how is it that I'm the trained graffiti guy and I don't have a Sharpie, just a regular old Sharpie? Does this one have ink, sort of? Okay. Um, you guys are literally just getting the, the behind the scenes. <laughs> You're literally just getting the inside my brain kind of live stream. Uh, okay. There was a couple suggestions that I saw. But where are they? 
Oh, someone commented on my three types of graffiti video. I haven't seen that yet. Oh, sick. I'm going to reply verbally, and then I'll reply to you later. But someone said, found you by Googling boxcar graffiti, and I can't believe I haven't seen your work sooner. You do an excellent job with your artwork and weathering. Thanks, man. Street Fighter, Street Fighting Man RS. If you're listening, thank you very much. That's a very kind comment on a video I posted almost, what, like two years ago now. That's crazy. That video did really well. It's it's still getting views. <laughs> but that's cool. That's cool. Just trying to funnel people into the hobby, you know? I mean, it's already a pretty big hobby, but the idea is to just bring people together. Um, okay, Sean Powell. I don't know if you're listening or not, but you're you're a pretty common viewer and commenter. You said, can you do DCR? Which is uh, Del Mar Del Marva Central Railroad. Okay. DCR. So because it's three letters, that'll be easy to do on a on an end window. So that's cool. I'll do that. So that's for Sean. And that was on the BFGR video. So that will be easy for me to find the comment again later. Oh, and then Thomas wanted to do TWB. That'll be another end window. Was that also on? Oh, no, that was on the dog one. That was on the Eli one. Okay, and that was Thomas. Any other suggestions? I can't see the chat right now. Because <laughs> I'm scrolling on my phone. Uh, oh yeah, and James... Not Dundas James, but James Harmon wanted to do mass. All these end windows, that's perfect. That's for James. And that was on the also Eli video. Who else is there? I gotta do one for uh, IF California. I'll do that in a little bit because I gotta find out his actual name. Or if it's IF California or IF California. Ironside wants Ironside. That's cool. I met Ironside in Port Hope. And that's on the wigwag video. <laughs> I'm running out of clean space on this pallet, which is not a pallet. It's the packing for my pack of paint that I bought. That's enough for now, I think. Because I don't know that I'll get to all of these tonight. But at least I can get some of it done, which is cool. So let's do that. Who's in the chat? Let's see. Sean, 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 Sean. Is this the filtered version of Inside Tim's Brain? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I don't know if I don't know if you can I don't know if you can handle what's inside my brain. It's just a just a melting pot of ideas and shenanigans. Uh John, what's up, John? John's on the tower, if you guys haven't seen that. John's on the tower. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, no, I did one for the Port Hope Club. That was actually the first one I ever did. It felt fitting that... Um, it felt fitting that Port the Port Hope show is where my graffiti... To, my graffiti extravaganza started 14 years ago. And... That's where I did my first graffiti on the Oceanwide Plaza Tower. Uh, 
aside from like that little test piece, but that wasn't on an actual window, that was just on a scrap of acrylic that I cut to size. Um, Eli, do you have to go outside? All right, I gotta take my dog out because he's whining more than usual. He's like pacing. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys in the capable hands of my printer to entertain you. So let's do that. <laughs> Let's uh, spin you around again. Ready? Spinning! I do the spin fast so you don't get chance a chance to focus on the mess. <laughs> so let's just do this. And I'll be right back. Please pardon the atrocious sound of my garage door. And I will have the chat with me. So if you guys want to hear, if you guys say stuff, I'll be able to respond. Why can't I scroll on this chat? Oh, there we go. All right, man. I'll be right back. If you hear it, if you hear it uh, making that little sound when it peels away, that's a good sign. That means it's printing. That's good. Ready? Oh, now of course it, it won't hear it, but should be fine. <laughs> okay, dog. Let's go outside. <laughs> sound in the world. Oh, that's the worst sound in the world. You guys still here? It's a very one-sided conversation, I must say. I must say. We got four likes. That's pretty cool. Only 12. Oh, but there's, but there's 12 people here, so... Where's all the likes? <laughs> what are you guys doing? All right. So let's um, move this tray of stuff to another location because I have no place to put things for now. I'm gonna do a nice little deep clean at some point in the near future. Whoops. And then that will be a wonderful thing. Where did that go? And once I once I do that, I'll have nice. I'll have a nice 
room to uh, make a mess. And that'll be fun. Oh, there we go. Five legs. All right. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. Let's um, do the nice blur spin again. Ready? Ready? Blur spin. Can't focus on the mess if there's a blur spin. That'll work. Except there's still blur. There's still mess. So, yeah. But if I do that... Okay. So these are what I'm going to work on. That's fun. This pile of screws I need to move at some point. That's a jar of stuff. Um... The thing is, I'm trying out this vertical streaming because YouTube's pushing it. But then I'm, I only have one camera, and that's annoying. But whatever. It's all good. You guys can either be happy or sad. But I don't think that the quality of my stream will dictate whether or not you're happy or sad. That's on you guys. You guys figure it out. Um, but I'm going to do... Some on the opposite end. Oh, the, but the end windows, it doesn't matter. They're, they're all the same. So these end windows, I want to do a few of them. I'm going to do all three. I'll do DCR, TWB, and MAS. One, two, three. The only thing is, when I use my phone to film, then I can't watch the chat on my phone. So let me pull up the chat on my computer. <laughs> typical, typical, uh, they make it like that stream where I don't actually do graffiti for the first hour. <laughs> That's all right. You guys are not here for the graffiti. You're here for the laughs. So let's stack more crap. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. YouTube. We'll just pull up the chat here. Let's turn it down so we don't enter the twilight zone. How do I turn this computer down? I never use this computer. Oh, we can watch Scott's Rails while watching. <laughs> Let's rename the stream. Let's rename the stream. They make it like that react live to Scott Rails. What's he doing? Let's see. I saw paint markers. Let's watch a had. Oh, he's just talking. He's talking. Let's say hello. See if let's see if he responds. Uh, how do I turn this back up? If somebody's watching both, their their screens are gonna go nuts just now. All right. <laughs> okay, so now let's go to mine so I can see your chat. All right, James is going to bed. Good night, James. Kevin says it doesn't always have to be graffiti. Well, that's true. That's true. Okay, 
here we go. So this one is... That one's mine. Now I can see the chat. There we go. Now I can see the chat. Whoops. Why am I doing this? Anywho, I'll give him a view, but I'm going to carry on doing what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so let's... There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we got my chat. So I can see what you guys are doing, so that I can film stuff. Let me get my duct tape out, so I can film stuff. <laughs> this is messed up, it's a stream within a stream. Didn't they make a movie about that? That was like, uh, that was, um, a Leonardo DiCaprio movie, a stream within a stream. Okay. So let's film some stuff. You guys still hanging out? You guys... You guys good? You guys all right? Let's do this. We're gonna start with DCR. I don't like that reflection. There we go. All right, so let me try. Can I zoom in? But if I zoom, I can't like move around. I can only like zoom in one spot. So that's annoying. You guys are going to get the wide shot today. Watching on his TV and yours on the iPad, I think <laughs> I need to reevaluate things. <laughs> that's funny. I hope he's not I hope he's not offended cuz I'm like, "Hey, I'm watching while I'm streaming." <laughs> um that would be that would be annoying but he seems like the kind of guy i've never met him in person but he seems like the kind of guy who would have a pretty fun sense of humor so i think he'd get a kick out of it i don't know dave if you ever watch this replay i'm sorry if i offended you but i'm just here to have fun man okay dcr shall we i'm making it this was literally the top this was the top marker on the pile, so we're just going to go with it. Actually, you know what? Let's do this one like this. Why not? Why not? Just cover it. Just... Cover it. Some of these are like this, so why not? Where they just black it all out. Or in this case, orange it all out. So let's let that dry. I don't have my hair dryer, but I'll use the airbrush. Why not? Woo, it's blowing away. That's a fun game. I should use my airbrush more. <laughs> that tickles. And that actually works really well. I like that. That's faster than the uh, hair dryer. I didn't film that. Let me film that so I can add it to the short. Oh. 
There we go. Had to get some flying around the bench action. Gotta make these shorts action packed, you know? Otherwise, people don't watch and they don't care. And they click away. They say, nope. I love airbrushing, I just hate the cleanup. That's why you just buy a new airbrush every time, Kevin. That's what I do. <laughs> no, that's not what I do. Okay, so this is gonna say DCR. So we're gonna do like this. Oh, this is sick. Oh, I don't know if I'll have enough space, will I? Yeah, I can make space. I started big with the D. Don't even, we're not going there. D, C, and for the R, I can just lop off the corner there. With that, it's meant to be, it's meant to be big. That's the whole point of covering the whole thing like that. Fill in all the negative space with black. I'm gonna go back over this and Yeah, I've yet, I've yet to meet Dave Scott Rails. Um, I invited him to the Port Hope show, but I guess it was too far of a drive for him. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll see him again. Or I'll see him one day. There we go. That's looking like graffiti, I think. Super simple. But uh, maybe I'll add a little bit of Fun times. Oh, now we're watching Go Daddy. I don't want to watch Go Daddy. Get out of here, Go Daddy. Now I'm gonna bring this back up. Well, there we go. Yeah, graffiti. Or uh, graffiti. Um. Whatchamacallit, airbrushing is awesome. I honestly, I love it so much. But I do agree, like, you need you need to dedicate some time. Because if you don't have the time, like, I've had it before. I, I trapped myself where it's like, I have enough time to do the work, but I don't have enough time to clean up. And then I thought, oh, I'll clean it up later. And then I didn't. And it was a disaster to try and clean it up later after it had sat for a long time, right? Um, so now, never again, obviously. But I feel like if I optimize my workflow with, uh, with doing airbrushing, like have it kind of permanently set up somewhere so that I can just quickly clean it up and carry on with my life, then I will definitely be more inclined because it's not only is it the setup and then the work and then the cleanup, or sorry, not only is it the, the, the work and then the cleanup, but it's also the setup, right? And I would rather just come in and work. And then, yeah, obviously I have to clean up, but we can do that. We can clean up. 
Just shove everything to one side, right? <laughs> so that's that. I think that's DCR. That's great. I'll film putting them all on the tower after so that you guys can see the tower. But I'll set that one aside for now and do the next side window. Time to feed the cats and hit the hay. All right, Sean. See you later. Let's do another one. Right into the reflection again. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, what are we doing now? TWB. So we'll do TWB. No one's going to stop me. No one's going to stop me from doing TWB. Let's do a white one. I haven't done a white one in a minute. T. T. A straight letter. Straight letter white would be cool. So let's do that. This one. That's the nice thing about these. I'll clean that off after. But it's pretty awesome that I can just <laughs> be like, no, I don't like it. Start again. Grab another window. Do I have some? No, I am going to actually clean them now. All this talk about, oh, I'll clean it later. And I literally just did the exact same thing. No, Tim. You're not going to clean it later. We're going to clean it now. Cause that's what we do. So get a bit of alcoholic liquid and a sponge and good as new. There. I need to get some paper towel, man. That's what I need. I need to get some paper towel. That was a lot more alcohol than I expected to get soaked up by that sponge. And I don't have any alcohol. Or I don't have any paper towel out here. But I have another rag. That'll work. And I've been filming this whole time. I keep forgetting to hit stop. And then I keep forgetting to hit start. That's what happens. Okay, so. We're going to do T. W. You know what it is. It's not enough space. I'm going to do a side window. Or I'm going to do a... Another big old blob of alcohol is what I'm going to do. Uh, that's what we're doing. We're just going to make a giant puddle of alcohol at my desk over and over. Because that's how we roll, people. And I've been recording this whole time. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do this one on the same side as Ron and Wigwag and all of those guys because I'm trying to fill out that side of the tower. So let's start again. Let's start again. There we go. That's what we're doing. Okay. T. <laughs> Can we do it this time? W Well, 
that's a great sound. You're welcome. That's a little bit much of the uh, of the paint. Let me try and soak some of that up. That'll work. The joke is now that I'm filming all of these shorts on my phone, my, I mean, I have a pretty big phone now, like, storage-wise, but I'm worried that I'm gonna, like, fill it up with all of this, like, super drawn-out painting footage. <laughs> uh, Q-tip, there we go. You guys still here? Who? How many we got here still? Anyone? Anyone? Nine people? All right, all right. <laughs> My print is still printing away. I don't know how ambitious I am to wait for it to finish to start another one. Still got two hours left. <laughs> the uh, the file with the new, like the newly supported file that I designed, um, it's less cleanup, but it takes a bit longer. But I feel like it's a good trade off because I can, I can set it and forget it, so I don't really mind that it takes a like probably takes about a half an hour longer maybe. But I save that in the fact that I don't have to do any, like, sanding or anything. Everything's pretty well just ready to go. Um, which is excellent. I'd rather that a whole lot more than um, having to do any kind of cleanup. Any sanding and fixing and cutting off supports and all that kind of stuff. You guys even see what I'm doing? <laughs> I know it's really far away, I'm sorry. Maybe next time I won't worry about the whole vertical thing and I'll just do my regular streaming software. Should I airbrush the next one? <laughs> that could be fun. Yeah, that's ready to go.
sorry, I, I, I just realized, guys, that you can't even really see what I'm doing. It's so, um, zoomed out. Let me just, let me work over here so that you guys can actually see a zoomed in version. I know it's not the best quality, but at least you can kind of see what I'm up to. Do this right on the acrylic? Yeah, I guess I can. Sweet! I haven't been using the Sharpie pens because the um, calligraphy pen has been so great. But the calligraphy pen sucks on acrylic. So I'm back to my roots using the Sharpie pens. And I'm finding it's actually, it's holding its own pretty good on this. I feel like this is this this is the surface it's best on whereas the painted surface on train cars not so much so i finally found it i finally found the proper use for each of the things that i'm working on which is good that's the whole point of experimenting i zoomed in and i just realized that all you see is the back of my hand so anyway that's what i'm working on <laughs> Oh, man. When you get in the zone and you don't really think too much about what you guys can see, you just focus on the work. But you'll see shorts. You'll see shorts about it. So there's that. TWB. There you go. Done. Who's next? Mass. For Mr. James. Mr. James. So those end windows that I cleaned off need to dry more. So let's do another one here. If I do it here, can you guys see it? Of course you can't, because you, all you see is the back of my hand! Gah! Do I need to um, do another blur cam and get you guys over to the other side? But even if I do that, then all you're going to see is the back of my phone. Oh, I know. Bear with me. Let's um, zoom that out. I had high hopes tonight. I was going to... Um, I'm like, let me go live. I'll paint some dumpsters. I'll detail some dumpsters. All that fun stuff. Uh... There's never enough time in an evening by the time you get things all set up and you're doing things. Um, I'm just doing these three shorts, I think, tonight, and then I'm going to call it because it's going to be late by then, and I still have to edit one of them to post tomorrow. Well, I've been posting them at midnight, so I have to basically log off from here and edit one and post it and then go to bed, which is fine. I'll do that. It's no big deal. Um, and then, uh, maybe tomorrow? Do I have anything going on tomorrow? I don't think I do. Maybe tomorrow I'll do some more dumpsters. But I don't know if I'll go live. Probably not. Okay, forgive the shaky cam, because I don't know what I'm going to do next. But let's see here. Let's do... this let's do this Woo 
Yeah, you guys are on for the ride now. <laughs> okay. Now that is there. Does that help you guys at all? Woo. A big old yellow guy in the corner here. That's fun. Let's move that out of the way. I mean, now it's a black thing in the middle. But, uh... Is that better for you? Does that help? Maybe? Maybe if I do this? Oh, did it freeze? Oh, no, you're good. Maybe if I do that? That's a little better. I think. I don't know. You guys tell me. Nobody's even talking anyway, so... Who knows? Who knows? I'll tell you what, though. It's kind of janky. But that's fun. I just toss my iPad up on a clamp. No big deal. Okay, at least that way, if I'm working on something here, you can kind of see it. Can you guys see it? Is all clear? Again, nobody's in the chat, so... Hi, dog. I trimmed my dog's hair. He's all light and skinny now. <laughs> Next step is giving him a bath. But I didn't want to bathe his long, matted winter hair. So I trimmed him down first. And then probably next weekend I'll give him a bath. It's like a three-week process. Yesterday I trimmed the bulk down. Just hacking away with, a, with clippers without a guard to like a rough length. And then today... I did the proper trim down with the guard on the razor and everything, like on the clippers. And now next week I'll give him a bath and probably trim him up again because once I give him a bath and blow dry him and stuff, then he'll be uneven again probably and I'll have to trim him again. I keep saying, once he's trimmed, maintain it. It'll be a lot easier, but then I don't. And then months go by and then I'm like... Dang, I gotta spend three weeks on this dog. <laughs> okay, we're doing mass. We're doing mass. What color should I do? Let's do a... Let's do a teal. I liked how the teal looked the other day. So let's do teal. Um, throw up? Yeah, let's do throw up. Whoops. Is anybody in the chat or am I just talking to myself? I mean, it's getting late. I know it's getting late. trick to getting this thing to dry fast is q-tip takes off the bulk because you got it pools a lot when you use a paint marker and then you can use it to kind of fill in the spots that you wiped away randall's here what's up randall randall's still listening Randall's the MVP of the evening. Very good. Kevin's here. Hello, Kevin. Maybe there's a bit of a delay. I don't know. I don't know how long it takes before I get to me. 
I mean, I'm watching my stream right now, so maybe you'll be able to see. Oh, now I'm airbrushing, so it's not that big of a time delay. This is handy, though. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to skip the hair dryer and just use this all the time. Except that if I'm also airbrushing, I mean, it's a, although it's a two-stage, I could do it. It's not like this. I'm, like, practically holding this thing upside down. But, uh, yeah, you get the idea. Um... The blending looked really good. The blending looked really good the other day. So I'm gonna blend. Now that I know how to blend my paint markers, it's a whole new world. A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. Yeah. Blendy, 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 blend. Blendy, 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 blend. And then if you're not happy with how blendy it is, or lack thereof, then you can use a little bit more of the teal across the top and blendy 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 blend yeah oh yeah can you guys see that That's what that looks like with it blended. Not, I mean, it's not super blended, but it's blended enough that when I inevitably do my outline, you guys will see in uh, two shakes and a jiffy, as my daughter says. I don't know where she got that. <laughs> she said to me the other day, she's, uh, she's going to be four, right? And I don't know where she learns these things, but she came up to me the other day. She's like, I'll be right back in two shakes and a jiffy. I'm like, what? Yo. Okay. I had a question for you. I had a question for you. Is it if California or IF California? Like, is it an abbreviation for something? Or are you just if California? Also, what's your name, dude? IF. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What does it stand for? Interesting friend. Is that it? Probably. You're on that West Coast time, though, eh? You you could, we could, we could keep going. Infinite flight. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Flight sim. But you're on West Coast time, so you're not even concerned with it being almost midnight, because it's not. Just Cali. You've claimed the whole state. That's awesome. That's bold of you. It's like if I went by Ontario. Yeah. I'm Ontario now. I mean, I, I've already got the hat, right? The license plate. So Ontario is mine now, I decided.
let's do let's do this I hope it's dry enough seems to be So you guys get the sneak peek of what's going to be on my shorts for the next three days. <laughs> this, is, this is how I do it. <laughs> I go live, make content, then I post a bunch of shorts with that same content. You guys watch it all anyway. <laughs> Works for me. You haven't complained yet, so that's fine. Can you guys even see? I just realized I did the same thing again where you guys can't see what I'm doing. Because it looks great on my phone where I'm filming a short, which I wasn't recording, I just realized. Oh my goodness. Ah. <sighs> Oh, well. I'll just, I'll just upload it, and then I'll get a hater that's like, um, you faked that. You're just pretending to draw over existing black lines, you faker guy. That's right, I remember you mentioning that you live near the building. That's super cool. I live near the replica. It's in my garage, soon to be in my basement. It's the one and only replica that I've seen. Anybody else is just following at this point. So let's do some 3D. 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 And then I think I want to do those same highlights inside the 3D. I like that look. Let me... How close are you? How close are you to the building? And what do, you, what do you mean by funds, man? You say, I wish I had the funds to make this stuff. You just gotta make it. That's what I do. You just make it. This building, I mean, okay. I will say I have been blessed with the opportunity to build some of this at work. Um, and I used a lot of scrap materials. But I literally have not spent a dime on this building so far. I'm not gonna lie. That's exclusive. That's exclusive uh, information. <laughs> but uh, that. Oh, low battery on my phone. It's just scrap material from from work. So far, I mean, I plan on doing a lot more fine detail and stuff. I'll probably have to spend a bit of money on that, but. There you go. That's that. I like it. Ah, uh, what did I want to do? Oh, maybe I'll do pink in there. Can I do pink? Do I trust a paint marker in there? Yeah, I can do it. Why not? Let's do it. Pink. Except it's not pinking. what I have to do empty some out will it do it now oh no it will yeah there we go so now I can go Can you guys even see it? 
how's it look on your end? Oh, when I zoom in, it does it. Does it zoom in on your end? Callie says maybe 20, 30 minutes on a normal LA traffic day. All right. That's not bad. Yes, it does zoom in. Okay, so you guys can see that. I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up soon, guys, because um, these are the three that I wanted to do, and I want to, I'll just film the putting it on the building bits, and then I'm going to sign off, because it's late. Maybe it's not late in California, but it is late here. And I got to work in the morning. <laughs> Kevin says that's three or four blocks away. Yeah, basically, right? LA traffic is not fantastic, I, as, as so I've heard. My wife was in LA last year, but I didn't go. Bit of that and a bit of that. And let's do a tag. barely a tag it's more of a scribble but that works so yeah so these are the three that orange came out sharp i love the look of that <laughs> cool 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 i gotta break this habit of leaving markers all over my table this is a new season. Now that I've admitted my struggles, I'm gonna get you guys to hold me accountable. <laughs> Not fantastic is an understatement. That's that's funny. So do you do you drive or do you take transit because driving is useless or what's what's the deal there? <laughs> So, oh, you're 14. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> well, sir. <laughs> That's funny. I feel a hundred now. <laughs> okay, so let me, uh, sorry, let me set the shot for the hero shot of these three, and then I'll do a nice little blur cam. Nice little blur cam. 
Uh, so if anyone is listening that has Etsy orders in for the dumpsters, I'm going to be shipping those out this week. Um, I just have to paint them. So if you're listening and you have, if you have them ordered, you're waiting, um, don't worry. Haven't forgotten about you. They're coming out this week. But as for you guys that are watching now to see some super cool footage of Oceanwide that is coming soon, bear with me whilst I spin you around. I'm trying to set things up ahead of time so that it's as smooth as possible and I don't have to kind of wiggle you around and such. All right. Yeah, man, if you put out a, if you build a layout, you're going to need you're going to need some dumpsters, man. That's that's just the that's the thing. Everybody needs dumpsters. Yeah, John, that I think I saw that one. That's pretty cool. I've seen so many different videos of of that tower now. And I've bumped into a few people now that that um, live nearby. Like I met them online, and they've sent me some some photos from. They've sent me some photos from around the base of the building and like really close up shots, which is really cool. Uh, is this showing? I only got one pe one person viewing. Where'd you guys all go? What's happening? What's happening? All right, let's um hold on to your hold on to your seat cushion. Ready? There we go. There we go. This is it. I gotta spin this. Sorry, guys. I gotta spin this. Next time, I'm not going to bother with the vertical. I thought, hey, YouTube's pushing this thing. Let's do it. No, not doing it. It's annoying. It's very annoying, and I don't like it. I don't like that it... The idea was to, like, see if I can catch new audience. But it's all the same people. So why would I... Why would I do that when I can just, you know, and just do my thing the way I normally do and then people won't be sad. They'll actually be, they'll probably actually be happy instead, you know? Okay, so enough of a roller coaster ride. Now let's just go up a, a couple floors. How's that looking? Does that look all right? Does that look all right? Yeah, that looks all right. Look, I got some, I got some junk prints over here. This one, um, I need some tweezers. This will work. This one here, it actually looks awesome. It's hilarious. So look at this. This is a N-scale Toyota Tacoma that I printed, but the model is an HO scale model that I scaled down, and it's so thin that it just like melted and came out really bad. But it kind of looks like it got rear-ended or something because the box is all kind of crushed upwards. I'm going to I'm going to cure it. Well, it's probably cured by now cuz it's just been sitting. I didn't bother to wash and cure it. That's why it looks disgusting. But it's I'm going to properly cure it and take it off the supports and stick it in my junkyard cuz it literally looks like it like you couldn't you couldn't take a model and crash that to make it look authentic on purpose. 
and have it have it look like that. So, yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll keep the file and just keep printing crashed Tacomas because <laughs> they make it like that. I got three of them. The other ones don't look as good. They don't look as organic. They look like pieces are like melted off. So it's like if you drove your Toyota into a acid vat, then maybe, but. All right, so let's do this one first. You know what I need? I need the other end. Where is it? I'll make this thing look a little better. That's why we're here, right? We're here to make this thing look better. So there's the other end. Still gotta glue it in place. And I still have one entire row of balconies at work that I still have to bring home. So I gotta do that. That's fun. Volcano damage, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's put this one in place. I don't want to put orange next to orange, so I'll put her a little lower, maybe. Let's put it down here by tuna. That'll work. Ah! Blooper! Okay, I need to secure this somehow. I mean, I guess the obvious thing would be to glue it, but... I don't have time for that right now. I know. <coughs> this is gonna be janky. It's gonna be janky, but we're gonna do it. There we go. It's not going anywhere. Now let's redo this. Where'd my phone go? There it is. Okay, let's redo this. That'll work, and let's do TWB. So we'll put TWB right in here, I think. Well, that's a snug fit. That's gonna be tricky to do one-handed. Some of these, because they're not all exact, so some of them are a little bit snug, but that's okay. Get in there. That'll work. And I knock down. I knock down another one over here. They're all just sitting there. They're not. None of them are glued yet. But I'm doing that on purpose because if I want to shuffle them around to get a better look, then I will. Um, if I want to rework some of them, then I can take them out. That kind of a thing. But uh, yeah. We'll get there. I'm enjoying the daily videos, though. It's it's encouraging me to keep going at it. And it uh, it's fun. I mean, it's a lot more content than if I just was like, okay, well, this is going to be one video about a bunch of graffiti and then people watch half of it, you know? Right, where do we want to put James's? James's is. Should I put him on this side? Yeah, I don't want to rotate the tower tonight. That was it's enough because it, every time you rotate it, you have to make sure none of these loose windows fall. <laughs> so let's put this one below here. So we'll put him right down here. All 
right. Cool. I'm liking that. That's looking like something. I really wanted this print to finish so I could start another one tonight, but I'll start another one tomorrow morning before I leave for work. This has still got an hour left. Oh, well. It is what it is. But hey, what can I say? It's been a slice. Let me, um... Let me blur cam transition. Not really blurry. That's just what my cupboard looks like. You're welcome. That's me. This is what I look like. And uh, thanks for watching. If anybody else is still here. We got three people here. That's cool. You can even see I'm a little tired. That's all right. Thanks for watching. And, uh, um, I look homeless. <laughs> Come here, dog. You want to say goodbye? Come here. There we go. There we go. Here. Say hello. Hello. Can you see him? Can you see him? There he is. Hi, dog. He's less fluffy, but still fluffy. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. We'll see you guys uh, another time. And they make it like that and such. Okay, bye.